This week on Lucky Fish, we make landfall on Ascension Island, party hard with the island locals, learn what fishing is really about, and change our plans. Ascension Island rises sharply, so there are few safe choices to anchor. Finding the right balance between depth and proximity to the breakers is not easy, as the swells rise up rapidly before crashing onto the beach. We had set the anchor at 2 in the morning, in about 10 metres, quite close to the shore at Clarence Bay, the only anchorage. There are no reefs, the island is too remote for corals to have colonised here. The day brightened up and we went ashore to clear in. The walk around the very sleepy capital, Georgetown, took about 10 minutes and we found ourselves at the only sign of life, the Saints Bar. Here we met Mario and Craig and got our first taste of amazing island hospitality. They were from different backgrounds but here for the same reason the world's best tuna fishing. When you think of Ascension Island, you probably think military bomber base, strategic listening station, closed to the public, right? We tuned into the local armed forces radio and listened to voices from a state of fear that seemed very alien. Visit the US Army Garrison V-Spot homepage for details, because well, it's free. You are a target. People are out there and they want to hurt you. They aren't hiding in dark alleys or around the next corner. They're inside your computer. Cyber criminals are after your personal information. They can steal info off your Facebook page or Twitter feed and take over your identity. Don't freak out. There are things you can do to stay safe online. Just be careful when you update your status because you never know who is watching. Well, that's one side to the island, but we discovered a whole lot more. For stories like these and more, follow Soldiers Mad on Facebook. That's your Soldiers Radio. Back at Craig's place, a party was in full swing. With 700 men on the island and only 21 women, the arrival of the girls caused a bit of a stir. What are you putting on there? Old oh boy, what they say? Old day. Yeah. Best in the world. Chicken, fish, prawns. You heard it right here, listen. You have to have the old day. What that? <laughs> Trust this man. <laughs> we do. Trust me. That's our old people dance, that's how we go. Tourism is still a novelty on the island. We visited the only hotel, the Obsidian.
The only means to get here is by sailing yacht. The RMS St Helena, or an RAF plane which runs a very irregular schedule out of the UK. Those that make the effort come for the fishing which is second to none. We hired a car and set off for Green Mountain, which is gaining worldwide attention as being one of very few large-scale artificial forests. special, isn't it? We had some fun negotiating the switchbacks on the way up the mountain. There were just a handful of endemic plants on the island during Charles Darwin's time and these are being propagated here at Cronk's farm. Space scientists are now studying Darwin's experiment here as a precursor to terraforming Mars. There's another golf ball. Yeah, there's a golf ball on every point. It's, it's a little bit of a fancy 
We went in search for the Volcano Club, the US wet mess. Good we job finding the it. Volcano Club. Yeah. On this oh. massive <laughs> island. <laughs> Honestly, I found it. <laughs> After a great night there, we returned to Lucky Fish and checked on the anchor. She had been wandering around quite a bit. In the morning, I dove on the anchor. We carried just 40 metres of chain on the primary and we had another 30 metres of rope rowed out. I was concerned about chafe on the road. Later that day, our Canadian friends from St Helena arrived and brought with them the swell. We set a second anchor as our margin of comfort felt a bit slim. One of the treats of visiting Ascension are the large schools of black piranha, locally called blackfish. That's more like it. Look how they beautiful, they've got some green in their skin, yeah? They're not just black. And brown heads. starting to like this boat, aren't you? You are. Very lucky fish. Notorious for stripping barnacles from boat bottoms, as well as eating dolphin feces within seconds of evacuation, these fish are in fact black triggerfish and completely unrelated to piranha. Wow. Well, they behave like piranhas. Their feeding frenzy behaviour is very piranha-like though, and quite unnerving when swimming with them. There's a fascinating natural experiment happening around Ascension Island. While the number of fish here is astounding, surprisingly few species have been hardy enough and lucky enough to make the long journey and settle here successfully. 
When they do get here, they boom. I tried hand feeding them, which on reflection was completely unwise. Next time on Lucky Fish, we see what good marine protection can do for a fishery, swim with the turtles, find another use for blackfish, and start filling the boat with fish.